Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test Tech. I'm Josh. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to build the launch pad, which is part of our FT Micro Drone Track Pack. Now, this launch pad is available separately or as part of that track pack, which gives you three gates, the launch pad, and also a really cool dual entry. All you need to build our launch pad is simply a hot glue gun, a couple glue sticks, and about 10 minutes. So the first thing that we're going to do in getting started with building our launch pad is popping out all the pieces. Now take note that you have two different stands. One stand's going to elevate your launch pad a little bit angled forward. The other one's going to be flat. Go ahead and pick whichever one you want to use and pop those pieces out. Now that we have our pieces popped out, let's go ahead and identify them. And then we're going to go ahead and choose whether we want an elevated platform going forward or a flat one. First, we have our angled platform legs. Second, we have our flat platforms. You're going to notice that there's two score cuts here. This is actually to provide a slight bevel so that when we put these in place, it gives a little bit more reinforcement. All we do when we glue these in place is we simply bend this, line them up with the tabs, and then press it down. Finally, we have our main body of our launch pad. You're going to notice two score cuts right down in the middle. Our next step here is to remove that piece of foam right in the middle. And the way that we're going to do this is we're going to bend this 180 degrees and roll it out with our hands. So I always like to kind of get a established score on both sides. We're just going to roll this up 180 degrees. And there we go. Now this space in the middle here is actually for something called a C-fold. A C-fold looks exactly like how you'd imagine from the cross section of these two pieces of foam. All we need to do is roll this over 180 degrees, line this up, and then we'll glue this in place. Now, if you wanna get really fancy here, before we glue this together, you can take an LED light strip and embed it right here at the leading edge pointing inwards. At that point, if someone wants to have a starting light, all they need to do is simply activate that through a battery. This leading edge will light up and you'll see it through your FPV signal. Just make sure the lights are incredibly bright so the drones can see it. Now that we've done our practice fold, we're gonna go ahead and trace a bead of glue all the way around the perimeter, making sure that we don't get too close to these holes so it doesn't squeeze out. Make sure you have an extra glue stick handy. I'm using my FT300 glue gun. This is a 300 watt glue gun with an adjustable temperature. This is really useful because you can turn it up and down based on how hot or cool you want the glue. I got plenty of glue and I have an extra glue stick, so I'm just gonna go right around the perimeter Just a little bit on the insides. Don't have to get too fancy. There we go. I'm just going to put a thin bead right in the middle. Again, you can put an LED strip in there if you want to before gluing this down. Then we're just going to flip this over 180 degrees. We're going to line up all of our edges. And then we're going to hold this down about 30 to 40 seconds. Make sure you hold this nice and flat and that nothing lifts up. If it does, just simply press it down or put a little more glue in and press it down again. As we mentioned before, you have two different stand options here. We're gonna ultimately do the angled one, but I do wanna show you how to glue down the flat one if you choose. If you're gonna do the flat launch pad, all you need to do is simply take the score cuts and face them out. And you're gonna notice two tick marks here right at the corner. This is simply just to give you a little bit of extra strength. And to glue this down, we're gonna apply a bead of glue right on the two flat sections on the top. We're gonna press it into the slot and we're gonna hold the edges right at the edge of those two tick marks. These angles just give you a little bit of reinforcement on the legs and make your platform more secure. For our angled launch pad, we wanna make sure that the lower part is facing towards the front that we're gonna launch from. And in this case, I consider the front to be the folded over edge right here, especially if you're gonna do that LED trick we talked about. We'll quickly do our first test fit. We'll pop one in one side. One and the other, just set it over and make sure we're happy with it. And we are, and you can see that slight angle is just gonna give us a little bit of clearance. So when we launch, we're looking more forward than we're looking up. Once we're happy with that, we can flip this over, apply a healthy bead of glue. And because this is uh, double-sided, we can go ahead and put it right in the slot as well too. And then we're gonna press it into place. You can always come back and reinforce with an extra bead of glue on both sides if you see fit. You don't have to worry about weight because this isn't going to fly. We're going to let this fully dry and we're going to do the exact same process on the other side. 
Make sure that you match up the two sides. In other words, the higher and the lower. We'll bring it right over. Again, with a bead of glue on the lower portions, the top of the tab. And I like to put a bead right in the slot. And we're gonna hold that 90 degrees as well. At this point, our launch pad is now complete. Feel free to take any markers, vinyl, decals, LED lights, and dress this up any way you see fit. Again, these are fantastic in the classroom or right on a tiny whip course where you wanna be able to line up four of your best friends and race against them. Now this launch pad is also available as part of our FT Micro Drone Track Pack. This gives you three race gates, the launch pad, and also a really cool dual entry, which is a ton of fun with your family and friends. At this point, our launch pad is now done. We're gonna take this out and race with some of our good friends. Thanks so much for taking the time to build with me, and we'll see you in the next video.